was kind of in the afternoon. It was when the sun was setting. So uh, it was probably about 4 or 4.30. Uh, I decided to, you know, get, get Vaminos, get out, and uh, follow, followed the orders. I just came back to my house to get some supplies and grab my, my dog. And uh, as I was leaving, the water just started pooling over the road. Like, it was just like a, like a geyser. And uh, I couldn't... I couldn't proceed anymore. I'm like, what if uh, what if this knocks me into the deep ditches that we have out there in Yarrow? Uh, my car and myself are toast. So I just I pulled a UE and there was another van in the way, so I had to dodge him and uh, just turned right back into my driveway and uh, just kind of waited from there. Uh, it's hard to say it was gradual. It was uh, it was fast. Like I, I made a little notch on the wall in my kitchen and I you know to see how every 30 minutes it would go up like an inch, an inch, an inch, and then by the time it was. Uh, probably about midnight I was I was wading through my kitchen by, by my hips I had to put my dog on my bed and uh, I was starting to throw stuff on the roof I actually hopped up hopped up on there and uh, I had put some blankets and uh, some pillows up there just you know it was getting to that point by the time by the time I was picked up the water was out my bedroom window I, I grew up in that house and uh, so used to the, the the nicer times and stuff I little did I know I'd be looking back at it with it 70% uh, submerged underwater. And I'm reading that the, the pump station is going to break and the, the Fraser River is going to come flowing through and join forces with the water power. And I was just, I, I thought I was going to die. My dog's never swam. He's a, he's a big Bernice Mountain dog. And for him to st be struggling in the water, I'd probably go with him. Uh, I phoned, you know, 911 and told him my story. And uh, I was like, hey, I need help. This is, uh, you know, they're saying, hey, hang tight. You know, we've got some other people to get to. But, uh, you know, they got to do their jobs and prioritize. Um, so I was waiting and waiting and they said call if it gets worse and sure enough you know it wasn't no surprise it just started coming through the door it was coming under my floorboards from my crawl space uh seeing you know then I started to see you know stuff was floating I'm like okay this is uh this is bad so I called again and uh, they just couldn't uh couldn't give me an ETA at all so I was literally swimming in my backyard I actually have a had a boat on my yard but the the plug wasn't in the bottom so it's uh it's capsizing and, and sinking as I'm trying to bucket out bodies of water and and uh, <laughs> it was, it's just like Hollywood script. I'm like, you know, is this, is this really happening? And um, I just kept my wits together. And a lot of people on uh, social media really helped. I made a status, uh, you know, because I, I wasn't expecting um, to get helped until the next morning. It seemed like it was going to take a while. So uh, a post I made got like 600 or five, 600, 700 shares. And uh, everyone was kind of, I, I thought it was going to be picked up by a jet ski. That's what someone said. They were coming out to see me. And by, uh, by 3.30 a.m., um, I heard a boat motor, you know, putting down the road or down the lake, I guess I should say. And uh, I just, I kicked my window open and I was flashing my flashlight and just, you know, just yelling. And they, uh, they turned around and they slowly putted and we grabbed my house to like kind of, you know, maneuver the boat to my window. And then from there I had to throw my dog in and they were really good with them. And I jumped into and right out of my bedroom window. Like,